Hello everybody and welcome to Hollow Knight A game I have been really looking forward to being playing I have actually played it uh, somewhat I have a saved game here, I did not finish it but I am familiar with the game I already did um, a, a couple of instructional videos on my channel But anyways, today I thought we could start our, our playthrough of this game and I'd like to say this game has like really really good atmosphere if you like the artwork the music so anyways hope you guys like and let's start the game there's my previous save game and here we go In wilds beyond they speak, your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls, yet you, the challenge met, under palest watch you thought we changed, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never hung. Oh. That was the best, best I could do. Anyways, here we go. Just gonna watch the beginning intro and so yeah, as you saw, I have played 30 hours of the game. I have not finished the game; I was pretty close. But I, I, I thought it would be super cool to make a video of the playthrough. I do want to play it again. I'm trying not to spoil this because I already know a couple of things that's coming ahead, but. And, as I said, the atmosphere of this game is so good. I really do love the soundtrack and the artwork here. Yeah, this game doesn't have a longer intro. Here we just begin, if I remember correctly. Yep. So this is a really cool game that I think that it's kind of you play it kind of like a retro game, old game, and you you guys know I love retro games. I have, but it still looks. Oh, it's it's this is just such a good game. Hope you give it a chance. I need to adjust a little bit here. I don't remember all the buttons. Ah. So yeah, basically we are, I think we are a haunted corpse of a bug and there's like a warrior soul or something within and we have a little nail as a weapon. And I'm not going to tell you about the plot, you'll see. This is uh, money. Oh no. And the white uh, faces up are your HP and the little pool there, the white pool, is your mana. That's basically it. Here we go. I tried to adjust the uh, sound as well as I could, but I'm, I'm doing a live stream straight through the PS4, so I wasn't able to uh, get the voice asked kudos with my stream deck but higher beings there are words these words are for you alone you your great strength marks you among us focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream collect soul by striking enemies once enough soul is collected hold circle to focus soul and heal yeah so you can basically heal yourself by defeating enemies which is cool you can use the mana to attack basic attacks you pretty much blast 
basic spells or you can heal yourself which is cool oh boy ah. and you can upgrade your character with charms which you can buy or earn or find throughout secrets of this game through this game and they're pretty basic your nail is more powerful, your spells are more powerful, you heal more, you have more HP, you're faster. Nothing too crazy. Ooh. Bear with me, I'm just... Getting hang with the controls here. So I'm just too worried that the sound isn't good and the video is not gonna be great, but hopefully it's it's nice. I'm pleased to write the comment below, so we'll we'll definitely change what was wrong. Yeah. Oh boy. So yeah, I did play this 30 hours, so I'm somewhat f familiar with this, but I can't really remember. Seems like there's a secret here. So we can't go there because we can't jump further further enough. And be sure make sure to comment what what do you like about the visuals and the artwork? I think this game looks awesome and it, it plays really well. What I mean it's it's reactive controls is extremely nice. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point you enter the land of King and Creator, step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Internal Kingdom. Hello, Nest. And this game has some pretty awesome retro style boss fights, you know. When the boss has the certain type of RNG and you need to learn it and you'll see, it's, it's really cool. Whoop. And really difficult. You, you might have to try like 30 times a boss, so... It might be... A, a, I'm not maybe going to stream all of this. I might have to record this as videos and maybe edit, so... Dirt Mount, the Fading Town. Oh, Traveler, I am afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen qu quiet, you see. The other residents, they're all disappeared, headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell the ruins, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment that darkens. Darkness seems to provide all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. So here's a chair. Which saves your game. Does it save? <coughs> Sorry. Automatically, or do I need to do something? And we can, yeah, easily adjust the audio here. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Is all done? Corn finer. Corn. Oh, here's the inventory. Here's our nail. A traditional weapon of Hollow Nest. Its blade is blunt with age and wear. And we can. We have the ability to focus and heal ourselves. Let's see. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. All right. A stone door with a simple lock. So we can't go there. Let 
we go. Do I need to buy the first map in order? Forgotten Crossroads. So yeah, there's basically enemies, but there's also bugs that are trying to help you. These are the very basic of enemies. I don't remember where, where I should go, so I'm just gonna go with it. Ah. Now I got hidden, lost some HP. And actually this game is, is like a huge open world, but there are bosses and stages you pretty much cannot win. But you can still enter them and you have no, I, no way of knowing, so... There are different stages you can you can fight the bosses. Oh no. This guy has lost all of his children. He's crying here. Right, so I okay. So now I got hit, but I can heal myself by defeating enemies, which I really like about this game. So you need to fight in order to heal yourself and stay healthy. Which is a double-edged blade in, in a sword spot. It's a cool feature. You don't need to search for any health pools or stuff, even though there are, there are health pools in this game, but... So what we need to do now... I think is to find the guy with the map. Just trying to collect a little bit of money here. I think the map is gonna cost us something. All right. Nice. So where should I go? I can go down there. There was a oh, place I could go here. That was my bad. Ah. There we go. I want to see what was on the left. This is a, the map is, uh, or the game is an open world, but it's it's sort of a maze, if you will. The Pilgrim's Way, travelers of Halonest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at Kingdom's Heart. There are wishes, there all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Alright. This guy seems, seems like problems. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't go there just yet. And one thing I love about this game, there's no fall damage. You can just jump everywhere you want, although there are spikes of course, but... Okay, do you hear the humming? That's the map man, map man, map guy. Alright, here we go. Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I've found them for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is pleasure like no other. We're exclusively lucky, you and I. I am cartographer by trade, and I am working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Yes, please. Alright. A map pen can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've, if you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Iselda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmont, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. So yeah. Now we have a map, but we need to buy a charm, a compass, so... And this is like the most cheapest... 
um, drawing of the place. But I think we're gonna explore a little bit more and hopefully find some money. This looks bad. I make it? Nope. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. Probably shouldn't even be going this way. Who knows? Who knows? I can't remember. So it might be a little bit slow start with this game, but fair meet me. This is one of my favorite games. Even though I have played only 30 hours of... Ugh. It is so good. It's just one of these relaxing games. Here we go. Now this is... If I remember correctly, it's it's been over a year since I played this. Mm. One of those grubs that the guy was... The big bug was crying about. Pretty basic stuff here, shouldn't be a problem. You need the double jump ability to get up, get up there. Here's the map guy. Let's just continue exploring and I think we're gonna need a lot more money. The map was pretty cheap but... Here we go. This is the good stuff. last one also. Ooh, there's a secret behind there as well. Hmm. A little bit more money here. Actually, quite a lot. Oop. And you get the shortcut. I mean, look at the visuals and the soundtrack here and the atmosphere. This game is just so good. And actually a cool feature. When you save a game and you explore new areas, the map actually updates, I think. But our map is so poor at this point. Um, I think I have to go down here. Whoa. Right. Oh boy, it's a battle. Okay, I see what's what's going on. And this game has some little old retro difficulties. Here we go. Like this small little boss battle at the beginning. Without the shortcut you would have been trapped here. Hopefully, uh... You guys are in luck, because I'm an expert. Not really. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, money. That's cool, because we need to buy some charms, I think. So we can do basic spells, and... I do need the compass. Some people don't wear it, but I like. So you can see yourself on the map. Now I know we are where we are because, well, I can't show you, it, it, but I have a pretty good understanding where we where we are. There we go. It's a little bit. Oh, takes three hits to knock out this guy. I think 196 is actually quite a lot of money. The compass is probably 100 if I would have to guess. Mm. 
Actually seems like there's something down here. Hopefully people like this playthrough because I really love, love this game and if there's something with the video or sound quality, it can always be upgraded. I am doing this, uh, even though I'm uploading this to YouTube and all of my Pokemon videos and streams are on YouTube, this is actually twitch.com. Ah, get out of here. Alright. There's nothing here. Kind of bad. How do I get? Nice. Some cash. I think you could uh, go further from the up there. Boop. Fast enough. Ugh. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like, right, got hit by twice there. No worries. We have a little bit mana to heal ourselves. Um, let's head back to the Dirtmouth town because we have 250. Morning. Let's have a quick save game here. A toll machine with the symbol of stack. Injured Geo. Yes, please. And... Oh, Greetings, the little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of the station bell. It echoed down the stageways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years and I've forgotten much. But the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stageways stretch the depths of Hollow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. Alright, let's go back to the dirt mount. So this Bug is basically, look at that animation. Fast travel is what this is. It's been a while since I actually streamed with PS4 as well. Ugh! God damn it. Alright. Okay, so we get a probably some sort of shortcut here, I think. Yes, now we have a station here. Quick save game. I've never thought I'd see such a thing. The stack station has opened. That building lay silent since before, even my time. Oh, I've heard tales of the glorious lines, a web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. So the shop should be open now. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with. But what a surprise, he's headed down below. Now let's see what's here for me to sell. Alright, the Wayward Compass actually cost 220, that's pretty expensive. So, these are like basically um pins to your map which means mm, that after you buy this you can see all the penches which are like checkpoints in this game and stageway fast travel hot springs but i think we're gonna save for the compass at the beginning so we know where we are traveling let's just head back down here Look 
Last time we took the right, so let's go ahead and go uh, uh, left. Let's go ahead and take the right here. And yes, there was still a lot to explore in the left, but this is a game you need different abilities and, and stuff to come back. So you can access all of them. Alright. Hello there, how delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a sh short one, but you've strong look about you. I'm Curl. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kin kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off unacquired air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what a what other marvels lie even deeper below us. Alright. He's a little bit of a warrior himself. I think that's... This could... You need to find the three eggs, I think. Which opens the final boss fight. Maybe, maybe not. So let's explore some more, try to update the map and gather money for the compass. We don't necessarily need it right away, but it's it's good and Bop. nope. Need the double jump. Alright, you can go down or right. And you can go left, because this place is a huge maze. I think we're gonna go right here. It's e easier for me to backtrack. The road here. Oh boy. That is, a, I think, our first boss fight. At least we're not trapped here. You can be trapped to these boss fights. God, I can't remember how you do the spell. Whoa. So this is what a boss fight looks like in Hollow Knight. Yeah. You know, kind of a re retro type. The boss does the same, same thing. This was an easy boss, to be fair. Yay. We saved our little grub. Ah. Well, I wouldn't say that was a boss fight, but a strong enemy. Maybe it was a first boss fight. Let's go down here. There's some money we need. But a couple of annoying insects as well. You can actually get a cool charm that all the all of the money just comes to you automatically. Which is really useful. Oh boy. And yes, you are going to die a lot in this game, even though it doesn't seem like it. Right now. Alright, the enemies are getting a bit stronger. I don't want to go deeper down. I think we need to go back to Dirt Mount to buy the compass and it's easier. I, I, I still think I know where we are. Maybe. There's another crop down there. You can get actually some pretty nice charms from the Grab father when you save enough of these little guys. All right. Here we go. 
No. We need an upgrade of some sort. Oh no. Little guys. Barely out of reach there. Okay, now I have to admit I'm a bit lost. No, I'm not. Okay, this is... I know where we are. Should have been quiet there. Damn it. Dirt Mound is just up, up here. We'll buy the compass and... Then we explore some more. Let's go see the crop father as well. Was it here? I'm sorry if this is all very confi- Oh, whoa, whoa. Wrong button. Ah. Uh, damn. That's embarrassing. Look, he's giving us money for saving the children. Yay. Thank you. Those things are so cute. Alright. My bad. Should heal myself. And you can actually heal yourself from uh, the benches. Ah, here we go. Go ahead. Ah, Alright, let's buy the compass. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at the bench. Alright. Ah, let's see what other we can. You'll need this if you want to. Ah, yes, this is super important. If you go to new air areas and you come back to a pinch, this will throw you the area, a sketch from it. So it, it will basically update your map. These are just pins so you know where the pinches are and... But we can't afford them at this point. So basically we have like three uh, empty spots if you see and this takes one but the cost is one for the compass but the cost can be more as well so now we see ourselves at the map here nice now we can go down here and explore more what i think we need to do is find the new ability here we go here we go the big phase might be a boss fight, I think. But where do I get the spell? How do I... Let's go ahead and check out the... Perhaps a boss place. But you, the good thing would be to buy the bench pins. You need the benches. If you die, you'll be sent back to the previous checkpoint and your soul detaches from your body. Which has all of your energy, so you need to actually get your soul back, and it will be left for the place you perished. You'll you'll see later on what I mean, because that's gonna happen a lot. This is actually a pretty difficult game. Thirty hours of gameplay does help in the beginning, though. Here we go. Alright, so now we can explore new areas and update the map. Last game it took me like 5 hours to realize even this, so... We're way ahead of my saved game. And this place has a lot of cool... I like the visuals. Look at this place. Alright, someone's singing here. Oh, bury my mother, pale and slight, bury my father with eyes shut tight, bury my sister two by two, and then when you're done, let's bury me too. 
Do you know that one? It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I'll bet you have a beautiful singing voice. Haha. <laughs> so, what are you doing here for? What are you down here for? If you came to get wealthy, just look around. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. Alright, I'm not sure what we need to do with here. Well, let's let's explore the place as far, far as we can, I think. Right, so actually from this point you can... It's one of those statues that you can get mana from, so you can heal or use the spell, but... For some reason we can't use the spell yet. I think you need to activate it from somewhere. This thing is gonna go down. No, you can actually destroy this thing, okay. So, without an ability to break the floor, you cannot progress through here. It's fine. Here we go. I'm gonna go down. I think the big big face is actually a boss or something, so we should probably head head down there. This is the place we skipped last time, I think. Alright. It's locked, so we need to find a different way through. Whoop. Ah it's a tricky spot. Come on. Right. So far, so good. This guy jumps. Nothing we can't handle. This guy's the one that charges towards you. As is this guy. Let's see the map here. So we need to... Alright. Whatever that, <laughs> that thing was I, I did there. Anyways, we need to find another way to go through there. Should be all good. Alright, full HP. Almost full mana pool. So down we go. There's something in here that we haven't updated to the map, I think. No, we were actually here, but there seems to be something down here. Here we go. Right. Right. And there was a pinch at the station where we can save. All right. Here you can, yeah, get the mana back up. Watch down. And we need uh, some sort of ability to go further here, which helps us decide where we are supposed to go. I think we're supposed to go down there and to the right. But where was the station? There was a station here, or was it somewhere else? There's the guy with the map. Let's see if he has anything else to say. My name is Corfiner, and I've always loved exploring the world. Hmm. All right, all right. Hmm. Where was?
was the station. Actually, we can go to the pools here or the springs to get the. Oh yeah, here was the so-called boss battle. Get out of here. So I think we're off to a nice, nice start here. We got the combats. We can up update the map now. I think this saves the game. So yeah, this was the first episode of Hollow Knight. I'm definitely looking forward to this. I can honestly say it is one of my favorite games. I really do hope you guys uh, give this a chance and you like it. Hopefully the video quality was good. But yeah. Uh, if you watched this this far, be sure to uh, leave a like and leave a comment. What did you think about the game? And without further ado, see you next time.